Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Bell's palsy. Number one, symptoms generally hit their peak anywhere between 48 to 72 hours. That means that when you've had symptoms for at least 72 hours, it's not going to get any worse. Number two, Bell's palsy is relatively uncommon. Only one in every 5,000 people worldwide will be affected with Bell's palsy at some point. Number three, although rare, Bell's palsy can recur. Luckily, only 12% of patients will experience a recurrence. Recurrence most often occurs within two years of the initial condition and usually only happens once. It is possible to experience four or more recurrences, but likelihood of that happening is incredibly low. Number four, the cause of Bell's palsy is not understood. We know that it's directly caused by facial nerves swelling, compressing, or becoming inflamed. However, the cause of nerve damage is debatable. Some researchers believe that a virus like the one that causes cold sores could start the reaction. Others argue that an infection causes the nerves to swell. Number five, getting a diagnosis is important. With Bell's palsy, a diagnosis is focused on making sure you aren't suffering from a more serious condition like Lyme disease or a brain tumor. Because there's no specific test for Bell's palsy, the diagnosis generally includes blood tests, x-rays, or scans of your brain that can rule out other conditions. Number six, most Bell's palsy sufferers are adults. That doesn't mean that children are immune from it, and many cases of children have been reported. Such cases, however, are rare, and the majority of patients develop Bell's palsy between the ages of 20 and 30. Interestingly, people with diabetes are four times more likely to develop Bell's palsy than the average adult. Pregnancy is another significant risk factor. Number seven, for most people with Bell's palsy, treatment isn't required for recovery. However, a lack of treatment can prolong recovery, and in some cases, it might keep a patient from full recovery. Most often, a lack of full recovery occurs when the patient has severe Bell's palsy, which generally includes a complete lack of control of one side of their face. Number eight, Bell's palsy can lead to synkinesis. Synkinesis is a facial disorder where you voluntarily move one part of your face and another part of your face reacts involuntarily. For example, if whenever you smile, an eye twitches involuntarily, you probably have synkinesis. Because Bell's palsy deals with nerves so much, during the healing process, damage can occur that causes synkinesis. For patients who get surgery for their case, chances of developing synkinesis may be higher. Number nine, treatments are available for Bell's palsy. A few options are physical therapy, facial massages, steroid treatments, or antiviral drugs. In rare, severe cases, patients may opt for surgery. With treatments, most patients will notice improvement within two weeks. Number 10, Bell's palsy can cause long-term problems. According to one study, only 72% of Bell's palsy patients who were treated experienced a full recovery within 12 months. The number is significantly lower for patients who were not treated. This is serious because for those who don't recover fully, permanent symptoms including pain, facial tics, and disfigurement are a real possibility. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have you had experiences with Bell's palsy? Let us know about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.